Welcome back to PoolCenter.com. Today we're going to show you how to test your pool water calcium hardness level using the Taylor K2005 test kit. So testing the calcium hardness, we're going to follow the blue instructions on the lid and use the blue capped bottles, number 10, 11, and 12. We've got a water sample already filled up to the 25 milliliter line of our comparator. And the first thing we do is add 20 drops of number 10. 20. Swirl to mix. Next we're going to add our indicator solution, number 11. And like all the Taylor tests, we're going to add five drops of the indicator. And swirl to mix. And we're going to get a nice red color. A slight pink color. Finally, we're going to add our titrant, reagent number 12. And this one we're going to add dropwise, counting the number of drops. And we're waiting for a color change that's going to go from red to blue. So that was five. Didn't do much. That's ten. So that's a hundred parts per million. And oh, yep, this water's not too hard. That's definitely a blue. If I add another one, that will certainty it. So uh, we have 100 parts per million of calcium in our water uh, and if we want to adjust the rate of it we can refer to our testing and treatment guide in the back and look at chart number or table J and range for calcium hardness should be 180 to 220 in that range. Uh, so we're only about 100. We'd want to raise desired increase in ppm. We want to bring it up 80 parts per million. Assuming a 20,000 gallon pool, we need about 20 pounds, 19.2 pounds of calcium chloride. And we'll just add that to the water and that'll make our pool water just a little bit harder so that we're in range. And that's how you test the calcium hardness level in your pool using the Taylor K2005 test kit. Thanks for joining us here on PoolCenter.com.